Hi guys, welcome to Linux our YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to create custom dashboard for AWS CloudWatch services. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AWS CloudWatch and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my CloudWatch setup environment. So the first question coming in our mind is what is CloudWatch? So basically CloudWatch is a monitoring services which is used for AWS cloud resources and other applications that we can run on AWS. We can use uh, CloudWatch to collect and track metrics, collect uh, and monitor log files and set the alarms also. Amazon CloudWatch can monitor AWS resources such as EC2 instances, DynamoDB table and RDSDB instances as well as custom metrics generated by our applications and services. We can use Amazon CloudWatch to gain system wide visibility into resources utilization and application performance and um, operational health also. So this is the importance of AWS CloudWatch. Now the next point is what is the CloudWatch dashboard? So AWS CloudWatch dashboard are customizable home page in the CloudWatch console that you can use to monitor your resources in a single view. Even these resources that are spread across different regions. So you can use CloudWatch dashboard to create customized views of the metrics and alarms for our uh, your AWS resources. So this is the example of your AWS CloudWatch custom dashboard. So these are the major points. These are the major facts uh, on which AWS CloudWatch works. So let's begin the lab session and make our own customizable CloudWatch dashboard. Okay. So for this guys, uh, this is my AWS web console and so for being time saving purpose I have already created a Linux instance named Linux server otherwise video will be very long so I'll show you I click on the running instances and uh, look at that this is a Linux server it's a basic Linux instance and uh, we will uh, make our customized CloudWatch dashboard so for for this I go to the CloudWatch so I just click type cloud watch look at that so once I click on the cloud watch it open my cloud watch console Should take some time yeah here it is so I just close this one close this one okay so here we have many things mentioned related to the cloud watch services like alarms log events and metrics so these are the very important points but we, but we are going with the metrics so the point is if I click on the metrics what is metrics any idea so metrics are data about the performance of your system by default many services provide free metrics for many resources like EC2 instances EBS volume and RDS database services DynamoDB and many more so we have n number of metrics available so I go with the EC2 these are the metrics so a little bit set it first and go with EC2. So I click on the EC2 and uh, per instance metrics, I per instance metrics, I am interested in CPU utilization of EC2. Okay, so this is the my instance ID, this is the instance name and metric name. So I have the option I can filter it out uh, my CPU utilization or I can scroll down and pick up the value. So if I little bit scroll down, this is a CPU utilization of Linux server. So I select this one here it is and uh, just pick up one more entry say network packets in so I just click one more okay so like this way we can add many more entries okay now we have the option we can use uh, from here we can use line or number or bar or pipe suppose I say bar so look at that as a graph bar or if I go with the pipe symbol so it is a pipe or but I prefer line so I go with the line one okay and uh, we can give it customized name here also so I click on the this icon and give name uh, say testing okay say click okay now finally go to the action this is the action and click on the add to dashboard so i click on the add to dashboard and uh, give the dashboard name so first of all create new and give any name i say demo dash 
and this time it asks for select your widgets so i i prefer with len line otherwise you can go with the number or you can go with the bar so it will show you the output something like this way so let's let's move with the uh, with the number so i say okay go with the number and again we have the option if you want to change the title you can just change the widget title otherwise say add to dashboard okay and add to dashboard now do not forget to save the dashboard so i click on the save to dashboard yeah okay now if i click on my dashboard icon so if i go on the dashboard here look at that i can see here i have my new customized dashboard and if i demo dash if and if i open it uh, now from here i can modifying uh, the things from the action button so like rename delete or share the dashboard we have the options we can set it it to auto refresh or uh, uh, we can set according to the different time frame as per need like 1 hour 3 hour 12 hour 1 day 3 day something like that okay so if i click on the into the full screen see what happened when i go into the full screen it will show me the something like that environment and what happened when i click on the dark see look at the magic so it look like as good so i exit from here okay so it is a uh, completely customizable environment we can add or uh, more visit as per our need so let's go add uh, and do one more entry in this time i go with line chat so this is a uh, number so this time i will prefer line so click on the add widget and go with line say next select your matrix say configure and uh, i just set it first okay now this time i am select uh, ebs okay i go with ebs so in ebs per volume matrix uh, here i have to select my volume id so i just copy the volume id from my ec2 i'll open in another terminal and uh, pick up the volume id from there so this is my volume my ec2 volume this take some time okay this is my volume id so i just copy it and oops all screen clear no issue just make one more time go with line matrix configure and go with ebs just set it okay per volume matrix and here just paste enter okay now uh, for example i go with volume q length look at that okay so something like that we can add it so i go with create widget and do not forget to save so remember whenever you do some modification do not forget to save the dashboard setting so like this you can keep going on uh, you can add one more entries one more thing i want to share you that if you want to share this dashboard uh, make it publicly access so for this click on to share dashboard so uh if i go on the action we have the option share that share dashboard so when i click on this here we have few options we have three options shared with username and the password share with your dashboard publicly and with sos so i click on the for demonstration purpose i go with share your dashboard publicly i click on the start sharing and Uh, when i click it says uh, that uh, it give me some kind of uh, caution message that uh, you are going to make this dashboard publicly available so i say yes i know that uh, and type confirm and just click on save and generate shareable link 
So when I click this, let's see what happened. Now the link has been successfully generated. Now I just copy that link and I can directly access the dashboard from anywhere across the globe. So if I click on the open a new tab, let's see what happened. Loading my dashboard. Even it give me a message, it's a publicly available. So take some time. Okay, here it is. Look at that. This is my CPU utilization, network packet filtering, and EBS volume status. So suppose uh, if I go on testing here and uh, I just change with with type uh, this time bar. So say save. It will reflect to on my just refresh this window. Look at that. So guys, this is how you can make your own AWS CloudWatch dashboard. And uh, finally, this is the end of this topic. So if you want to just uh, close, if you want to delete the dashboard, so just click on the dashboard and select your dashboard and uh, go to the action and click on delete dashboard. Okay. So this is a very simple process. okay so guys finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up uh, with new other interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for the um, latest update if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye